Hello, I'm going to be unboxing my Crypt Kitty um, Raven. This is my, well, this is actually my second Crypt Kitty. The first one that I had, I had as a, as a baby. And this is my second one. She's new in the box. And I'm going to be unboxing her. I, um, let's see, I have one more little tape piece that I need to take off off the top of the box. I got her off of offer up for a really good price. I'm sorry for the glare. There's not really much that I can do about that. The lighting in this apartment is pretty bad and this is the best lighting in the place. You'll see her much better once I take her out of the box. She's super cute. She has her head wrap on. She's still fastened in and everything. And the this is the story in the back. So basically the story for Raven was that uh, her prized possessions were her birds, they were her family, a feral cat gained entrance and ravaged her feathered friends, and then Robin spent her re remaining days mourning her loss. And then the remaining of her days, so then she died, and then she got reborn into Raven now, because her original name was Robin. And she is the new feline enemy, is what it says. And the Crypt Kitties is what it says is, when a person departs the earth with pent up mischief, his unleashed evil essence may remain. May remain. So she died with pent up resentment and then somebody granted her to be able to be reborn into the crypt kitty oh gosh i'm just i'm scared to open this because the box is so like fragile oh it's hard to open <laughs> i'm always so nervous about opening my boxes the front of the box did come damaged. Um, well, it was already damaged. That's okay. It's it's just like bent up right here. So yes, I'm going to be unboxing her now. I just got her out of the box. This is the outside. It was actually quite difficult to remove her out of the box. Surprisingly. The box smells fresh considering it's so old. This is her inside. This is her when you take her outside of the box. Still got her little head wrap on and everything. The zip ties are all still intact on the back. I just wanted to show what she looks like whenever you take her out of the box. And then I'm going to show you the unboxing. This is her little baby bottle. All the blood has completely gone away, but she's so freaking cute. Look at her. So adorable. I think she's cute. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of people that I have seen, they say she's too creepy for their taste, which is understandable. Not everyone likes the creepy things. Now I'm just going to unbox. Got all the zip thingies or whatever, the back pieces to all of the... I think he's holding her down. And now I am taking her out officially. Oh, she's so cute. 
cute. Look at her. She's actually a lot squishier than I thought. Like, she's, like, squishy. She's hollow inside. It's not like those hard baby toys. Let me just adjust this a little bit. She's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, her hair is a bit rough. Not like in rough shape. It's just, it just feels rough. It's not as soft as it looks. It's very shiny in the photos. So that's why I thought it would be super soft. Her dress. Oh, that's right, because it had to be held down. Oh, let me fix that. And I can see that she has her diaper underneath. It's like... Is that a diaper, actually? Oh, I see, I see. It's something to... Is this a diaper? Okay, either it's a diaper or it's something that's just underneath so that the black doesn't stain her skin. Because I thought they came with diapers, but this I guess this black thing is just her diaper and underneath it is just to protect from staining. Kind of like how Living Dead Dolls will put some of those pieces underneath they often people would often complain about the staining oh my gosh she's so freaking cute oh my god I can actually see like like everything like so much better out of the box I was debating on taking her out of the box for a long time just because the offer up person was saying how he's had her in the box all these years and he got them when they first came out and his daughter has one and he has one and this was an extra one that he had, like, damn. And then I was like, oh, damn, should I really take this out of the box, you know? Like, I don't know, I'm feeling bad now, even though I literally bought it. Now I'm just going to be taking the zip ties off, but I just wanted to quickly show her baby bottle. I took that out first before I took her out. All the blood is completely gone. Look at that. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the vamplets. It was like from an old like school book thing. The vamplets, the creator of My Little Pony. Uh, yeah. And they had baby blood bottles too for the plushies and all the blood is gone from them too. I've honestly wanted to find a way to restore these things because I feel like there is a way. Look at it. Like, you can slide this around and stuff. I feel like there could be a way you could take off the top and refill it with something. So that it could be a cute blood baby bottle. I'm sure there's a way, you know. I feel like there would be a way anyways. But yes, just taking off the zip ties. I'm actually really happy that I unboxed her because she's so much more cuter in person. The, it has, it's such a shiny plastic that's on the outside of the box that's covering the doll. These are interesting zip ties, the way that they did this. They like wrapped it around her like that and then wrapped it through the box. She was extra, extra secure. Okay, I think I got all of the things off. I forgot what those are called. Forgive me. Okay, I took them all off. This is the first time she's being moved in probably like, what, 20 years? I mean, how long have these babies been out? I got one when I was like born in 2003. Now I'm going to carefully take off the head wrap. I want to keep it like intact. Like I don't want to rip at it. Oh cool. It literally just slides right off so I can keep this. And you know, whenever I move, I like to put things back in the boxes to keep them intact and nice and all that. And I put their head wraps and stuff back on. 
this one when she was in the box her bangs were already like lifting up from the head wrap probably just moved a little bit but with some literally with some padding down it just went right down so there she is so cute and I just wanted to try to style these like the photos the photos they're like extra like like crazy like that almost on this side too oh and you notice that the hair doesn't exactly look like their photos with the cute little piggy tail things I don't know, it was, it was just more extreme in their photos. The pigtails, they were a lot more bigger and like fluffier and stuff like, like that. Crazy like, it's still cute though. I'm just fixing her hair ties. And I actually do not want to take out the note thing because they come with like certificate things like living dead dolls do as well that thing it's tied through the box so i'd have to untie it and take it out but i kind of don't want to take it out i don't know maybe i'll just read about what it says from other people or something It's kind of just like a one-time kind of thing. Like you read it and then you wrap it back up and then you kind of don't really mess with it again because then you know what it says. You know, I, I don't really see the point of doing it. It's cool. So, she's super cute. I'm just fixing her dress. She is adorbs. This is my Crip Kitty Raven. And then I wanted to get the um the Crypt Kitty cotton candy. So she's like the pink version of this one. I just wanted to quickly flip the camera and show what she looks like. I kinda wish this one was more forward like this one is. And on the photos, they really did look different. I like the stock photos. They always look different in the stock photos, though. To be expected. I wonder how people style her hair. Do they pull it forward? <laughs> She's new and her hair is already getting messy. Oh my gosh. I haven't even messed with it that much. That is the first time and that is the last time. It is staying back oh my gosh she looks so creepy cool yeah i don't know what it is but the eyes just glow they look super cool and that is the crypt kitties symbol on her dress she's a super just a super simple cute design love the detail and the, the pop of red for the hair, hair ties, and then her baby bottle. Hold that, will ya? Um, thank you for watching this video of me unboxing my Crypt Kitty. Really just wanted to document this and remember this. I mostly make videos just to remember things in timelines and the work that I put in and like video games and like whenever I unboxed my Sailor Moon pull of doll. It's a great memory. Thank you for watching.